afternoon, evening, wherever you are. You are welcome to Sister Fierce Kitchen today. If it's your first time stepping by, you are welcome. And if you are part of my subscribers, you are welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends. Welcome back. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I prepared my homemade burger for my kids. So please, not to waste your time, let's get started. So what we have here, we have our meat. It's already washed and mashed. I did myself. I bought the meat one and I came home and I mashed it myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ingredients. So the first ingredient is onion. It's already washed and chopped. I'm going to add about tablespoon, um, sorry, teaspoon of dry ginger powder. All of them is optional. If you want it, you can add it. If you don't want it, you can just leave it. And I'm going to add the dry ginger, um, sorry, dry garlic powder. Also, it's about one teaspoon. All of them is optional, so you can add it you can leave it and same as the black pepper also I'm going to add about one teaspoon we have here we have our cheese that one will come later so I'm going to leave it in the bowl and I'm going to add my salt the salt to taste so I'm adding one and a half teaspoon for now and I'm going to add two yolk. I'm adding two yolk. The reason why I'm adding the two yolk is I want the meat to be a bit rich, not that much. That's why I'm adding just two yolk. If you want it to be rich, you can add more eggs to it. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to leave this one aside and I'm going to leave this one aside. I have this this circle here. I'm going to use this circle to make the bigger because I don't want some to be big and some to be small. Okay, so my hands are clean, so I'm going to dip my hands into it and mix all of them together. And once I'm mixing this, my frying pan is already on fire. I'm using the frying pan. This one I'm down using. This is the one that I'm using. So you just mix all of them together. Okay, now it's perfect the way I want it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into like a ball form a circle or a circle form it depends the thickness how you want it I don't want it to be too thick and not too light or too thin yeah so this is how I'm going to do it then I will put it on the fire or on the frying pan to cook it. So this is how I'm going to do all of them. I'm going to do, you see, so I'm going to do the next one. I don't want too thick and too thin. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm not going to use any oil. I'm just doing it direct. Okay. But if you prefer to add oil on the pan, you can use the bread that I'm using. Sorry, I turned it off. This is the bread I'm using. You can use any bread of your choice. 
now I'm going to turn it over. I find it that it's too dry. So I'm going to add some oil to it. Not that much. I'm going to There's no oil in the meat and that's good, I like it that way, that's perfect. So, I find that this is too big for the bread that I bought, so I'm going to, I made it too small so that it will fix the bread. So this is how I turn it into now, to a smaller. Then I'm going to add a drop of oil at the middle. Okay. That's great. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a bit of butter on the bread. Not that much. Then I'll put it on the fire to toast it a bit. I'm going to I'm going to add a bit of butter. So I have my ketchup here. We are going to Not that much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my cheese. I use any cheese of your choice. So I'm adding my salad also here. Okay. I just cover it for a while so that the um, cheese will melt a bit so as you can see I'm just putting it on then I'll add this so this is the end of our video look at how gorgeous and lovely it is thank you so much for sharing to your friends and please subscribe to the channel don't forget to like and comment down below see you in my next video please stay safe and stay blessed